in Brooklyn, New York. It is amazing as we get ready now for the main event when you look at Morales' resume. This is a man who, before Pacquiao, Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks, hailing from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. He weighed in at already 139 and one quarter pounds, with a record of 52 wins, eight losses. He has 36 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the WBA and WBC number two contender. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the future Hall of Famer and the five-time world champion in four weight divisions, introducing Eric El Terrible Morales. Across the ring is the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and white tiger stripe trunks, and hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 139 and three quarters defeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 24 wins, no losses, 15 wins coming by way of knockout tonight in his third world title bout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated WBA and WBC super lightweight champion of the world, introducing Danny Swift Garcia. I give instructions. Benji Esteves. Good luck to both of you. Touch it up. So with that, we come to our main event. 12 rounds for the WBA and WBC. Round one. Garcia says he always starts slow. He says, I start so slow. Done. And they expect Eric Morales to try and press the pace early. Morales, yeah. but the rest of it didn't go his way. Danny Garcia felt that he let Eric Morales off the hook a little bit in the last round, the last fight, because he didn't pressure. And he said, I was my first championship fight. I was fighting him down at fans, and I, I maybe just didn't focus enough to do that. To as champion. I would say so. You know, the first fight in the round, that it was a man versus a boy. And it's looking like, you know, that's right. <laughs> Good right hand from Danny Garcia. Garcia's busier here in round one by far. He's thrown three times as many punches as Morales, but still, he's a more active. Morales just not doing much. Looks to counter there and miss twice and takes three punches. Well, just a great crowd here at the Barclays Center. Good right hand. Both men with so this fight heating up already. Much faster pace from Garcia. Garcia with the right hand. Amir Khan did it often, but it's hard to discourage him. <laughs> he does have a little bit of a lazy left hand. Good body from Garcia. Morales, opportunity to count with the right hand there. Garcia got out of harm's way. Garcia, as his dad Angel leans in to give him instructions, going to the body early. With that the, did get in. Interesting in Garcia's corner, they got the. This is round two. Jabs. There he throws one. Yeah, you're right. You're right, uh, Barry. He really wanted to begin with that punch and use it as a clearly. Oh, nice little oh, left hand right. slipped in by Morales. A little bit more busy this round. Counter right hand from Garcia. From Garcia. When Danny Garcia, point that when Eric Morales finally opened up in his attack, he was when he went down. This is opening himself up more early in this fight, and he is getting countered by Garcia. Good and right hand by Garcia right there. He doesn't want to be, and we know why? Because it was in the keys to victory, so there you go. <laughs> you know your stuff. Right now is a stationary target. Takes a right hand, absolutely flat-footed, and quite honestly, slow-footed. 
And again, putting himself in a position where he's not in the center of the ring. Yeah, after Denny, he's finished with his combination. He needs to move his head or move out the way. You know, he's kind of standing. Good right to the body. Yeah, it sure was. Good body from Denny. Final 10 seconds. Working the body up. Why not? Good strategy with a guy who had to lose some weight. See if you can take the steam out of him. You can't, you can't, you can't have to take chances. You can't take chances. Okay, breathe. He was a little bit faster. So we right come now. to round three. They want Garcia to work the body. I think it's a good idea to work the body. You know, Morales looked a bit. It's only the third round. Garcia so far not. He did do it in the second round, and it does seem to have slowed Morales. And indeed, the the movement of Morales was not much to the idea that he may already be slowing down a bit. Yeah, Morales just got out quick by Garcia. But it is early in this fight. And we point out that Garcia normally doesn't get off to a start where he's winning all these rounds, which he, which so we had to lose weight, you're going to put yourself in a good position. Garcia, I rather, uh, Morales just seems a little bit flat so far. Good body shot. And it's just a case of Garcia out quicking Morales so far. Good right to the body from Garcia. And another left to the body. Oh, and another right to the body. Danny Garcia is listening to his. That's the key to winning this fight early, and Garcia is doing it. Yeah, he came upstairs with the left hand. Beginning. This is not the start Eric Morales wanted. Stretch of the imagination, especially given the fact that the second half of his last fight with Danny Garcia was What's beginning that? to be this dismal. Not it. He said the same thing in his mind. Yes. Yeah. Swelling already, also under the good right hand. Sure was that hurt. Morales, Morales is in big trouble at the bell. In fact, he stumbles back to, to the Garcia's corner. Yeah. Worked by Danny Garcia, and when he throws combinations, Garcia is a very effective fighter, and we'll take like a champion, but when he does this, Danny Garcia looks every bit the part of a 140 by four punches and the power punches in the last round, but the most important was legs are all the way back yet. No, no, Bill, Morales is backing up, which is not something he's... And again, you saw that right hand in house referee here. Now, what is referee uh, Benji Estevez gonna be looking at here? Honest about all things. And it's important for Benji Estevez to be in the right position to make sure he is close enough and that he's ready in case with this 36 year old getting pounded. It's not at that point yet, clearly. Four punch combination ended with a right hand to the top of the head. Danny Garcia's doing, oh my. Just a brilliant And it's over, y'all. That's it, just yeah. like that. In case of the king is dead, long live the king. see such a you know a pugilist go out like that but props to Danny he did his thing and regardless of what may have been in the system it didn't help Danny Garcia coming up with a superb performance a conquered champion like that, but props to Danny he did his thing and regardless of what May have been superb performance, landing nine of 13 power shots and creating this. We look at how he set up the left hook. Just as good a punch as Danny Garcia can throw, and he has great power in the left hand. As he starts, I believe, the throw jab, yes. He lowers the right hand and gets nailed with a perfect left hook by Danny Garcia. Sometimes Garcia throws this fight. Yeah, no question about it. Just 
I mean, that's about as good as it gets. Yeah, that's that's one of those textbook punches. You know, that's what we teach them. And we mentioned that as you look at that left hook, that Captain round number four. Our referee in charge, Benji Esteves, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout. Still undefeated and still the WBA, WBC, and Ring Magazine super lightweight champion of the world, Danny Swift Garcia. Well, I think Swift was the operable word tonight. And I think, you know, they always say a champion has to go out on his shield, and I think perhaps we saw a champion do just that tonight in Eric Morales. It, no doubt the close to a brilliant career. All right, well, our four fights are now.